Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 9 of J to Z Returns. Today we're playing Zin in the top lane with Kraken Slayer, as voted by you guys. Unfortunately, OP.GG is down, but we do have our runes down here, and I'll post edit in the OP.GG that are like that show up in the match history on that website later on, but it won't be the live version. So we're up against Nar, and he has fleet footwork. I don't think we're going to be able to poke him down with our W. Our W is super long range. If we land it and nearly comes for a gank, we can charge in really long range, because this is the reworked Zim. The other thing we're going for is Kraken Slayer and Sanguini. On top of that, we're going Ghost, so we're going to be able to stick onto Nara quite well if he gets caught out of position. Otherwise, I think in this case, we're going to be more of a team fighter rather than a split pusher. If we can get some really nice split push going, then more power to us, because Zin has some really nice sustain. And also, presence of mind means that I can keep spamming without having to worry about my mana too much. Unfortunately, because he has fleet, we won't be able to poke him down too well until we get a few ranks into our W. Okay, got all three CS. That hit though. Oh wait, I messed up. I was meant to get my E second. That's okay. So we want to max W first, then max Q second. We're slowly poking him down though. Okay, back away because he's going berserk. Oh, please. Damn, I didn't have any mana. Maybe Presence of Mind isn't the best early levels. I should have went Inspiration with Biscuit. That's probably better. And Approach Velocity. So that's the other option. More you know. First blood. Double kill. Okay, so we just got teleport and flash. I think as long as we can farm well, we'll be in good hands. Because it's just the nature of ranged matchup. And yeah, the reason why lethal tempo instead of hail of blades is because we can proc lethal with our W and then go in. Super long range all in. That hurts. How about sustain to come back into the game? Have to watch out for Elise though. Okay, 
Hey, that's a nice chunk of damage onto Nar. Even Nidalee can solo. Uh, I want to just bait him to stay. And Nidalee can come. Maybe? Nidalee is heading towards mid. Okay, I have some mana. Enough for a charge. And W. He has no flash. He's backing away when Nid was there. What? Is the warding that deep? That's insane. So we're back to full health. We really have some nice sustain. Okay, let's see. In terms of CS, 43 to 40, that's pretty good. There we go. That's what we've been waiting for, that ghost. That's why we take ghost, guys. It's also going to be really nice for team fighting as well. So we just beat up a fleet for work Nara. Who has already teleported back. So his teleport's on cooldown. His flash is on the same cooldown as mine. Okay, let's go back. Scuttle crab there. Also, the reason why you want to max your Q second is, look at this, see the cooldown? 6.5. See the cooldown of this? Doesn't change, it's 11. Okay, Zin's just OP. Uh, I'm gonna leave that pink ward because I have a wave to catch, and then I can always take out that pink ward later. But yeah, the items that we bought just destroy, like, he can't fight us head on. No way. Is that E going for the attack speed? Okay, now we get some platings here. Also, look at that sustain, we're back to full health. As long as we're hitting stuff, we'll go back to full health. Even if we're hitting a tower, that's the neat thing. Okay. Let's go away and we'll get this. But yeah, Zin always has mana issues, which is the annoying part. So what we can do is start poking at him, get some trades going, and then we'll get this plant. Nice, we hit him. So... Oh my. Okay, wait, I do a lot more damage than I thought I would. Oh, why is there an Elise here? That's the worst timing ever. Oh. Why is there an Elise here? Feels bad, man. And then check for Elise. And I, I was gonna back away, get this plant, get back to full mana, and then start warding up, then go for it. But I saw that much damage, I'm like, oh, we're going in. I got you baited in the end. I'm not going to buy anything else, because I don't think we need this sustain hope potion from facing no. Don't respect no.
Okay, we only have a little bit of time left before we can... Uh, before there's no more tower plating left. There we go. Alright, now we just have to pray. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm going to get executed. Um, Elise is coming. Elise just got rift and she saw me here. So she was definitely coming for me. I had to just suicide there. It's better than giving a free kill. Unfortunately, our team's getting slaughtered. Like, we're slaughtering Nara, but... Yeah. That stuff's happening. Okay, let's go and kill Nara again. Then we'll get the tower. Hopefully Elise isn't nearby. But Elise made her way. So, if I land a W on Nara, I'm going in. With ghosts? Let me think. Maybe I'll go in and then he'll use his stuff. Ah. Sweet. That works. Even as Megana, he can't do anything. At this point, we're just too far ahead. Okay, tower, 12 seconds. Go, 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 go. Go, minions. Oh, please. Alright. We'll get a tower here for free at least. Okay, sweet. Nice. Bot tower taken. Top tower taken. Let's get our tabbies here as well. Let's head towards mid, see if we can gank Diana. Otherwise, I'm going straight to top again to push that out. Well, there's not much to do. Let's see. See if he could bait. Ow. Okay, that'll get the vision there. Fortunately, I lost a wave. That's really bad. Max Q second, don't forget. Elise is dropping Rift there. Oh, so close. Maybe I could have went in on that Elise. She had all her cooldowns down. Okay. Oh. They're fighting. Heading over there. This is going to be really good for us. I don't think we'll catch Trist, but we can counter jungle. Okay, let's push in mid. Unfortunately, losing another wave, but it's all in the name of Demacia. Oh, give me that. Ah, uh, JK.
Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Nearly is one and four, excuse me. Okay, let's go mess this Nara up. Where was Elise parving though? That's uh, the only cause for concern at the moment. Land this. Can I not hit that? That's tragic. Elise was parving top. Actually, almost had both of them. We do so much damage. Hey, how's my team losing? There's two top. How's my team losing when there's two top? This is really weird. Right now, their threats are like... Actually quite even. Dragon just spawned. Um, I guess need need steal. I guess she can't steal. I'll push this out and get rid. I think that's the best way. Just give. I want them to just give that because there's nothing to contest right now so please just give by give I mean there's like literally not giving anything away they're just dying I'll get a rift herald here We take it really fast. Okay, we might be able to use this rift on mid. It's there over there. Get my Sanguine Blade. You can use this to run Nara down. So we're going to split bot. Oh. Nara should be easy for him because Nara just built full armor. as far as I can push. Sweet. Let's go. What the? Okay. We do so much damage. It's pretty naughty. Okay. Let's head towards bot. We're going to destroy this Nar.
and drop Rift Herald, or just drop Rift Herald if he's playing really safe. So that's the plan, guys. I'm thinking I might just drop it mid. Wait, is Kassan trolling? He's gonna die to jungle camps. Okay, I guess it's a 4v5. Land the W, we get the kill. Ah, oh, can't reach. Whoa, we just hard carried this one. Holy moly, Zin is broken. Like, is Cassidy and oh, Cassidy's here? Wow, amazing! He was doing a jungle camp earlier, so it's really nice of him to join us. There we go. <laughs> Wait, Zin is so strong. I I'm actually curious about the Elo because I couldn't see the Elo. Right? Yeah, Zin is like a range champion, and you can see we can have sustain because if you manage the lane properly, you will get your sustain going with your passive. Second win, Doran Shield. Zin can be played very similar to Trin, except he's like his damage is on steroids. It's just so stupid amount of damage. So yeah, it's really nice. I don't know why Honored Nidalee she didn't do so well, right? Yeah, it did the most damage. Also, Jinx did really well. I should have honored Jinx. But yeah, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was an amazing game. Anyways, before I leave you off with this episode, be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode, and I'll be sure to do it. As for today's winning comment, I do have the Bizarre code for you, so make sure you check that comment, reply to my Discord, and then I'll verify you in some way that I can, and then I'll get you the code. So, same for this video, comment, upvote, and highest upvoted comment gets a skin. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Cheers!